What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Red and Zero Dawn. Let's go. Shall we? Is this path just going to... I just want to know if this path is going to climb me back up or not. It's the only thing I want to know. Because remember, we're still looking for that last thing. Uh-huh. See? 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 Secret. Is this secret what I'm looking for? <gasps> Yes, it is. This should be the last power cell I need to get to that ancient armor I found. What if I want to go do that instead? <laughs> you guys thought <laughs> you guys thought we were doing main mission. You're funny. Nope. Merchant, I actually need you. Why couldn't there be wire bundles, huh? You just make life easier, you know? But there are not. It says inventory full. But like, is it really? trying to make sure we sell things so we make up some room and I'll buy some more only things for selling Actually, I don't want that. I don't really care about that. Or that. Then we go back and we go, oh, buy more wires. Try not to run out for the rest of the game. Wonderful. We'll probably still run out, but maybe not. But maybe not. I just want this cool sound in armor, man. Been wanting this armor since the very beginning of the game when we seen it. When it teased me like crazy with it. Which is really good game design, honestly. Like it just teased the heck out of you and it's like, ah ah ah, not till near the end. Those clamps have the armor locked in place. Maybe there's a way to power up the mechanism, release the clamps. Only two more. Just one more. There we go. The last one. So all powered up. Now to get the dials in position. There must be some kind of code. Ninety two seventy three sixty is a circle. Four fifty. Three sixty plus three sixty is seven twenty. Minus ninety six thirty. So to the left. <clears throat> okay. Put it on. Where is it? Shield Weaver outfit box. Okay. I was like, where is it? I was like, how dare you not give it to me? Uh, 
Got the shield weaver outfit. Woohoo! Just make sure I'm having everything here. Ancient technology, saw by J. Latest stitch nor leather projects a damage absorbing force shield. Takes time to recharge. This is apparently like one of the best. Or the best in the game. Not one of the best, the best. And there you go. If you want to read that, go for it. Forget about traveling light. No. Unfortunately, that means we have to go all the way back down here. So I'm gonna bring you back to where we were. I'll be back. All right, we made it back. With our cool, fancy new armor. This way? This way. That's my way across. She could have jumped that gap, but no, no. The game says no, no. Jump to the gap point. my grab point you know climbing is my strong suit in this game so pretty cool Once. Accord. I just woke up. It's. I see the numbers, but can't make up the time. I was dreaming of. Uh, I was giving a lecture in Q Hall. Maybe it was something more shamanistic. I, I don't know. An audience of shadowy faces under a blank, open sky. I told them the world ended with a bang. A plague of robots. The last humans. We went out, not with a whimper, but a whisper. You know, in caves, ending like we started, huddled around a flickering glow. The heads of state, the Fortune Fives, the leaders, lottery winners, and life cults. All of them buried in their little shelters. Some believing they'll live it out some way, somehow, or Elysium, or us here at Gaia Prime. No different multitude of tiny societies taking hold, flaring, dying. Some will be beautiful, some horrific. None of that matter. Short-term civilizations. One last gasp. One last gasp for the long-held breath. Before I wake up, I know the audience is gone. I'm talking to myself, to a quiet planet. A barren sphere. Just Gaia and her long, long dreaming. I hope she won't be lonely. Not that way. Little shower area. Looks like there's actually nothing in here. We're gonna hear any more from Tate? I quite liked Tate. He was an entertaining fellow. Evacuation happens so fast. No time to think things through. No time for goodbyes. There were lines in the medical ward. I told Tom Paik I'd be with him when he went under. But there was one last shipment of parody Saiyan zygotes I could get processed if I rushed. I'm still angry at him for forcing me to choose. 
angry at myself for... Well, he died alone. And I didn't get the bloody birds of paradise saved either. All the time left in the world now to think. Gaia Prime's locks are sealed. Elysium sealed up, safe and sound. A distance of miles, but it might as well be on the other side of the galaxy. All the beaters and gammas and support staff living their lives. If I hadn't been an alpha, if things had gone differently, I could have been there. Instead, I'm spending the rest of my unnatural life in here with people I don't even like. And without the one, I would have gladly spent my life with. Given a chance. Two hours since I signed off on the final executables and I'm already a bitter old man bitching to his focus. There's a thought for future generations. Sucks, man. But we continue. Climbing into Gaia Prime, getting stuck on stalactites. Elizabeth's room. I know it. She didn't even get a chance to unpack. These are her journals. Elizabeth's journals. And they're all destroyed. Scan them. The focus can rebuild them, but the process is slow. The Us, it seems a powerful device, but its engine is tiny and limited. How slow? Days, weeks, years. Concern yourself with stopping Hades and extending the future, and you might live long enough to hear them. Fair enough. We continue. I think you're doing something, but hey, whatever. Oh, still 100% trust you. What is this? This is Charles Rodson. I'm logging this six hours after final deployment of Gaia Prime. This morning, an access port seal malfunctioned. Gaia Prime's port seals were designed to close with a seam of less than two millimeters. But this one closed with a 10 millimeter gap. Enough for an energy signature to bleed through. Enough for the swarm to detect this facility. Enough for Gaia to be discovered and destroyed. Enough to end the future we worked so hard to make possible. Unless the hatch servos were manually re-engaged from the outside. I'm now switching to a recording of the event. Well, I'm not going out there. Now who I signed up for? Either we send someone out or all of this was for nothing. It should be Liz's decision. So when is she going to get here? She said five minutes. You don't think she did it. Oh no. Yep. Okay, everyone. I've repaired the seal. Gaia? Seal closure at 1.4 millimeters. Confirmed. Elizabeth, no. We'll find a way to bring you back in. It's not gonna happen. The swarm's too close. Really. It's alright. Gaia's complete. She'll take care of things from here on out. That's what she does. Not like this. There's so much we- Guys, you know me, I'm... I'm no good at endings. At letting things end, so, um... Let's not. So... Happy trails, Liz. And, uh... See you around. Yeah. Take care of each other, alright? Liz. I'm okay with this. on this planet and we are all 
in her debt. Aloy? She's gone. Really gone. You knew she couldn't have survived, Aloy. And her achievements were... beyond exceptional. While her people bickered, she was the one that took responsibility. The only one who could. She was better than them. That's not what I said. She was. You shouldn't be afraid to admit it. You think she was better because she was smart. Because she designed Zero Dawn, but you missed the point. What made her great was that she was willing to sacrifice herself. For others. For everyone who would come later. No. She couldn't let her creation fail. You're confusing will for sentimentality. You're wrong. Remember, she knew it wasn't enough for Gaia to think. She taught Gaia to feel. To care, to sacrifice, to believe in life. Enough to fight against hopelessness. If it wasn't for that sentimentality, life would have ended. You and I would never have existed. Your argument is sound. I'm sorry for your loss. She said she wanted to go home. Maybe. What? Nothing. It's time to go on. You'd hate it, Liz, but I wrote you a eulogy. I had to try to express all your children. After all Apollo has taught them, they'll think they know everything. But they have to understand what you did for them. How you loved the whole world so much. With an intensity that was... Dazzling. Bruising. And in the end, it killed you. Or you died for it. Different perspectives. No one could keep up with you. Live up to you. I, I don't know, maybe if, if, I, if I hadn't taken that postdoc in Joburg... I'm glad you shot down the Lightkeeper protocol in the end. I don't think I could have taken seeing another one of you. I mean... Elizabeth Sobek... There's only one. I miss you. Hmm. She didn't shut it down. I'm here. Or somebody put it back up. Look, Liz. You are a pretty stand-up gal. I'm sorry you died. If you had a home to go to, I hope you got there first. But this monument Ronson's made to you? Kinda creepy if you ask me. Rest in peace, Liz. God knows you earned it. Hell, Liz. I know. I know you're never gonna hear this. That's not the point. You, uh... <laughs> You got to play the savior in the motor all at once this time. Great work. Oh, well, that was it. I figured he was going to say more, actually. Hello. Secret, secret. Secret. Maybe the way out later, actually. Maybe I'm going the wrong way. All right. Let's start over from Eleuthia 1. Running integrity tests. Dr. Brochard Klein. May I seek outside protocol? I suppose so. There's no one to stop you. Doctor. You are fatigued. You have been logging abnormal sleep cycles. Are you suffering from depression? Well, I am trapped in a science facility for the rest of my life. How about you? In a time slice of a quadrillion operating cycles, 10,000 are involved with processing the loss of Dr. Sobek. I have considered quarantining these processes. Do you think that would be wise? I'm not a psychologist, Gaia, or... Or any high scientist, I... 
I've been getting a lot of messages, unsolicited messages from Ted. Oh, Margo, I'm sorry. With Liz gone, we've got no one to run interference with him. I'll talk to Ted. He mostly wants updates, constant updates, hundreds of updates on things he knows nothing about. Liz used to field all of his crap. He doesn't understand the systems at all. I was kind of by design. But he's getting pretty sketchy with me. We just have to keep him happy. Liz always said, keep him happy. Are you kidding? You ever hear how she talked to him? <laughs> she was managing him, Margot. I mean, maybe I should ignore him. He's buried in his pyramid with the Hola Hola girls and Panta Antimon Cuckoos. What can he do? What can he do indeed? I'm loving all the little dialogues we're getting though. I'm glad they made so many into voice as opposed to text. What are we gonna plug into their heads, Les? A whole lot of history? A whole lot of so-called troops? A whole, a whole lot of noise? It's not pablum, Les. It's poison. Fair enough, Ted. Sounding a little creepy though, Ted. Looks like it survived the blast. Why? See, she could just jump around it. You found the control room. I'm on my way. I'm glad you know that that's what a control room is and where it's at. Silence, you know, also a person who's lived with, you know, maybe more technology than others, but still not a very high level of it around here. I'm just saying. Somebody should have talked to him. So I can't get down over here. What's over here? Absolutely nothing. Say it again now, huh? Ooh. What's that song from? Anybody know? Hatch. The air rushed in from this side. Because there was none inside the chamber. But the alphas were in there. Yep. <clears throat> I'm locked out of core control. Alpha clearance overridden. What the hell is Omega clearance? Oh no. Alpha personnel. Sorry to alarm you, but I need you to listen, okay? To what I'm about to say. This isn't easy. See, uh, I've, uh, please, stop trying to access the system, okay? See, see, what this is about is, um, 
I said stop trying to access the goddamn system. And what, what I'm trying to say is I can't stop thinking about the ones who come after us. Those innocents. Those blameless men and, 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 and women. We're gonna give them knowledge? Like it's a gift? Ted, Ted, we've talked about this before. Apollo has 3,000 plus failsafe conditions. It's not a gift, it's a disease. They're the cure, and we're gonna give them the disease. Our disease? No, we can't. And it's not too late. If we're willing to sacrifice. Ted, it doesn't need to be like this. It already is, Samina. I did it three minutes ago. I've purged Apollo. It's gone. All of it. Every copy. A sacrifice? It's not a sacrifice. It's cultural obliteration, you crazy bastard. Millennia of culture. I'm sorry. Really, I am. But sometimes, to protect innocence, innocents have to die. Emergency alert. Where do you go? Because there's no body over here. Everyone else has a body, you didn't have one. saw the slaughter in the sun ring everything these people achieved all the knowledge of the old ones evaporated turned to dust scattered to the void like the alphas themselves no not a void when the hatch unsealed and scattered their ashes on the wind it took them out among the world they made the world we are living in a monument to what they died trying to accomplish. A monument to oblivion. Not oblivion, silence. Hope. Hope. Yeah, this guy had no body. They forgot to put it in. The master override. It's so small. Now all you have to do is kill Hades with it. Sure, that'll be easy. Anything in this room? There was. I'm stuck. This way's a quick way in. Nice. Thank you, game. Unfortunate. Okay, so you're gonna show me the way out? Maybe this way. Feels wrong with all the jumping I have to do, but you know. It could be right, right? Can't see. No, I think this is wrong. <laughs> There we go. Found it. Just keep climbing, Aloy. Before I go, I think I owe it to you to tell you the rest of the story. Go on. Some time ago, I admitted that I'd been 
involved with the Eclipse. But I never told you the full extent of my culpability. The truth is, I was there at the beginning. I found Hades Aloy, buried on that mountain, trapped in that shattered titan. And I served it. What? It promised knowledge and delivered such knowledge you have no idea and in exchange i helped create the eclipse helped it build a cult an army to do its will why are you telling me this now because your success depends on knowing this when i found hades the first thing it wanted to know about was the spire not meridian the spire now why would that be Fire was created by Gaia. Which part of Gaia? M Minerva. It's code-breaking module. Gaia built spires to transmit the codes that deactivated the Pharaoh robots, shut down their biomatter conversion systems. Hades wants to send a new transmission to wake the machines so they can devour the world all over again. Yes. Based on what we've learned, that's my conclusion as well. So the Eclipse, the robots they've resurrected, they're just a means to an end, an army to capture the Spire. Yes. So Hades can exterminate life all over again, unless you stop it. I want you to tell me everything. Hades, the Eclipse, everything. It's a long story, Eloy. Then get started. It began with a focus, recovered from an ancient ruin, as yours was so many years ago. In my case, the device was heavily damaged. There was just a flicker of life in it. I spent weeks studying it, attempting repairs, until finally, I succeeded. A whole new dimension of perception revealed, right before my eyes. That's when I detected it. A faint signal. Out there, something was searching, just like I was. A real kindred spirit. I followed the signal to its source. A shattered titan, buried in the jungles of the jewel. So you thought it was a titan? An old war machine? I didn't know what to think. I'd seen such wreckage before. The Grave Horde, for example. But this was different. This was not quite dead. It couldn't speak when I found it. Until my repairs gave it a voice. So began an exchange of knowledge. It wanted to know everything about our world, its tribes and machines. But the Spire was always its foremost concern. What did it want to know about the Spire? Its precise location. The surrounding geography. Who controlled the land. Meanwhile, Hades revealed to me many of the intricacies of ancient technology. It bid me to recover and repair more focuses. Before long, I had a couple dozen up and running. Enough to equip a small army. The commanders of one, anyway. I was learning so much. Physics, calculus. You have no idea. And the Shadow Karja? How did they become involved? The Karja Civil War was a happy coincidence. A perfect opportunity. <laughs> An opportunity? That's what it was to you? Yes. Overnight, half the tribe was in exile, desperate to win back Holy Meridian. Their religion made them easy to manipulate. All I had to do was present Hades as the buried shadow of their mythology. So yes, it was an opportunity. I arranged for High Priest Bahavas to meet with Hades. Helis was there as well. And so the Eclipse was born. Anything to win back Holy Meridian. But Hades didn't care about Meridian. And neither did you. We live in a world of fallen cities and banished tribes. 
but there were a few more. Besides, I was too busy setting up the cult's focus network to Hades' specifications. <laughs> a thrilling technical challenge, especially with the alterations I included of my own design. The ability for you to spy on them. Yes. I may have been foolish enough to serve Hades, but I was never so foolish that I trusted it. I installed what the ancients used to call a back door in the network. Secret access, empowering me to monitor all activity and communications. What made you turn on Hades? It certainly wasn't your conscience. Actually, I was troubled the first time I saw the Eclipse raise an ancient war robot with my technology. I questioned Hades about its intentions. A little late. Indeed. I'd already outlived my usefulness. When I completed work on the Focus Network, Hades summoned me to receive my reward. The next moment, I heard it broadcast my kill order. I've been a fugitive ever since. So when did I come into this? Our path together? When Olin stumbled on you. System threat detected. That got my attention. A kill order against a savage Nora girl? Why would Hades bother with that? But then I saw that this Nora girl was wearing a focus and bore an uncanny resemblance to a great scientist of the old world. Helis moved quickly. I thought you were dead. But then I detected your focus inside the Nora Mountain. The more I observed you, the more convinced I became of your extraordinary nature and usefulness. Through you, I could finally discover the secrets of the Earth. I vowed to do everything I could to ensure your success. The rest, as they used to say, is history. You've done terrible things, Silence. But you've also done what you could to undo them. I can't say you've balanced the scale, but at least you've tried. To be clear, Aloy, I would do it all again. A few more safeguards, perhaps. But basically the same. Really? So much for learning from mistakes. I've done all I can. From here on out, the rest is up to you. Take my lance. Fit the master override to it, and you have a means of injection. Then I just need to get close enough to Hades' skull to stab it in? Exactly. Oh, no problem. Silence! Where will you go? Elsewhere. And everywhere. There's so much more to discover before the world ends. And all this? I leave it to you, of course. As it turned out, it was yours all along. I was merely trespassing. Okie dokie then. Let's finish up looking at everything in here and then then, then we'll move on. I traveled far to find you. <clears throat> I heard your transmission. It was you, wasn't it? Entity is not known. I'm called Silence. And you are. I don't think you'd have called out if it wasn't something you wanted. You called, I responded. Will you tell me your name? Hades. You are a creation of the ancients. A war machine. Divine timeline. Time? Ah. It is the 13th king of the Karja Sultan's reign. Divine Karja. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Were you created by the ancients? I wonder how long you waited here, buried, until I chanced upon you. How long you'd have to wait for another? You're obviously very powerful, but you're not going to get anywhere without me. Titan Flame, 
merely houses intellect, divine Karja. Now that's more like it. They're coming. Preparations are complete. Ah, loosened Bahamas. Behold, as I promised you. What? Manner of great machine is this? I've never seen such a thing. Say it! Say your ground, Karja in shadow! Incorrect. Bow before the buried shadow. The buried shadow? I... I don't understand. Did Araman understand the Glint Hawk that perched upon the Alight? It speaks scripture. Araman followed the shadow cast from the spire. To the Mesa, where Holy Meridian was founded. You will follow the shadow once more. I am a righteous man, chosen of the sun. But in times of need, the powers of shadow can accomplish what the sun alone cannot. Will... Will you return to us what is ours, O oh, Shadow of Prophecy? An army is required. Obey, and Meridian is yours. Of our obedience you can be certain. Task is complete. Yes. The focus network is active, built to your specifications. Check it yourself if you must. I'll wait. But I remind you of the reward you've been withholding. Quantum processing? Data has been compiled. Volume too great for transfer. How inconvenient for me. Come before me. You shall receive your reward. Very well. Helis. Threat detected inside Eclipse. Speak its name, O Shadow, and it will die. You will eliminate this one. Silence. Silence. Yes. A truth whispered at night is seen in the day. He was never one of us. It will be done. Hmm. All right, let's craft this and call it an episode, hopefully. <laughs> received a powerful weapon. All right, guys, let's make sure we equip it, I guess. Do we need to? Nope. Alright guys, that's good over this one. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.